This afternoon, the House plans to deliver impeachment articles for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to the Senate. This would be the first cabinet official to be formally impeached in 150 years. Senate Democrats have said that they plan to quickly dismiss the two articles. Joining us now, John Sandwig, former acting ICE director. Uh, thank you. I'll talk about the impeachment uh, in a moment. But first, I'd like to get your reaction to that guardsman talking about his regret and embarrassment being wrapped up in smuggling people across the border. How often have you ever seen something like this? Well, first of all, I mean, that was obviously um, upsetting to see, right? I mean, what a, you know, this guy clearly regrets it now, but also made a horrific decision to aid the cartels in their smuggling efforts. Marty, look, the, the funny, you know, interesting thing I'd say about this actually is that, you know, corruption at the border has always been a, a serious risk. Um, and one of the kind of, un, you know, consequences here of moving some of these state resources down is I don't know that they're as well equipped to handle the corruption as our federal authorities. CBP dedicates tremendous resources to combating corruption at the border. This has been a persistent threat for decades now. Um, it's the this DHS Inspector General's Office, the ICE Office of Professional Responsibility, the FBI. There are tremendous resources focused on corruption because of the nature of the threat down at the border. So I'm not surprised to see that, you know, another guardsman has been implicated in it, but obviously, um, you know, very upsetting to, to watch that video. Right. And I'm, I'm curious how the cartels are even luring them. At what point in the process are they coming into contact where they can have these types of conversations and make these transactions? Well, look, they operate on both sides of the border. And that's why, you know, you know as it relates to state and local authorities and their role in the border security, I've long been an advocate, not for laws like SB4, where you have state and local authorities looking to arrest the undocumented migrants themselves, but rather to use those law enforcement resources to focus on the cartel groups and, the, you know, and their, their affiliates that are operating inside the United States. But unfortunately, they have plenty of representatives and organization and structure inside the United States, and they look for vulnerable officers, vulnerable agents, and they seek to corrupt them. You know, these guys, often these soldiers are not the highest paid, um, and the opportunity to make a quick $5,000 or $10,000 uh, can be awfully tempting. And unfortunately, it's a, you know, it's a vulnerability that the cartels have long exploited. Let's talk about the impeachment articles in the House that will get sent to the Senate later today. Republicans say that he's derelict in his duties. He failed at his job at the border that Secretary Mayorkas did. Democrats say this isn't going anywhere. It likely won't go anywhere past the Senate. I'm wondering, you know, based on where you sit and your experience at the border, does this do anything to address the situation and the conflict that we've, we've seen? You know, Marty, it doesn't. Look, this is a political exercise. I know Secretary Mayorkas very well. I've served with him for five years during the Obama administration. He's, he's a prosecutor. He's a law and order guy, and I promise you, he wants nothing more than to kind of bring some semblance of quiet and order to the southern border. Um, that said, and while you might sit here and say, and I, you know, that there are plenty of policy disagreements you could have with the administration, with Secretary Mayorkas himself, you could argue that, you know, they were too slow in looking at a congressional solution. Um, you could argue that they should have looked at some executive action sooner in the process, or even some of the rhetoric at the beginning of the administration was misplaced. Uh, but none of these are high crimes or misdemeanors or justifying impeachment. Um, and so here we are wasting valuable you know, resources and congressional resources. I and mean, really what we need is to have some congressional action that will actually solve the border. But like nothing, nothing about this exercise does a single thing to make the borders more secure. You know, and you could probably argue that it distracts resources that would otherwise be dedicated and attention of, you know, senior DHS leaders would be otherwise dedicated to looking for solutions at, um, at the border right now. Political posturing, and it's frustrating, uh, likely not to go anywhere, at least until uh, after the election. Uh, John, thank you for, for your time as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.